Before the opening bell, U.S. indices pushing higher on Thursday, with the S&P 500 posting a record close lifted by shares in energy, capital goods and software and services sectors. On the economic dock, the current account deficit posting $130.4 billion in the first quarter. Initial jobless claims falling to 216,000 for the week ended June 15th and continuing claims dropping to 1.662 million in the week ended June 8th. This as 83% of S&P 500 constituents traded higher yesterday. Now, after the markets closed, Red Hat reporting first quarter EPS of a dollar versus 72 cents a year ago on revenue of $934.1 million. United Health Group acquiring healthcare payment solutions provider Equian for $3.2 billion, reported by Bloomberg, citing those familiar with the matter. Turning overseas, Asian markets mostly down today. The Nikkei down 0.95%, the Hang Seng down a quarter percent, China's CSI 300 rising 0.14%, South Korea's Kospi down a quarter percent. European markets consolidating and U.S. futures calling for a slightly negative start. Now, in terms of expectations today, Kraft Heinz and CarMax are expected, while on the economic dock at 9.45 in the morning, we have the market manufacturing, market services, and market composite PMI flash 10 o'clock in the morning, we have the May existing home sales figures. Now, the S&P 500 is where we begin. That sees the bias remain bullish. The Nasdaq sees a rebound expected, and that's in focus as the relative strength index is mixed to bullish. Long positions above 77.17 are favored with targets at 77.75 and 78.21 in extension. The Dow Jones, meanwhile, looks for 26,900.